Hello everyone, Xero Cobbs here. So today we're going to be reviewing Team of the Season Casemiro. So just after doing the Maddich card, someone asked me to do this Casemiro card and it's going to be an interesting review. It is going to be a very interesting review because both cards are pretty similar. Obviously there's, there's differences in terms of the rating, but in terms of the expectations, they're very much similar. The only difference is passing and dribbling seems to be a bit better on Casemiro's card. Um, Pace-wise, they're pretty similar, but again, we have to factor in that Casemiro is six foot and Madage is six four, so the Madage is obviously going to be a little bit faster because he's a taller, so he has he's going to cover distance a lot easier. So, in terms of cheaper alternatives, there's only one alternative that we're going to focus on here. It's going to be Madage because there's there's no other player that's going to be like this card. So we're just going to compare him to that team of season Madage card, which is about 30k cheaper, 30 40k cheaper. So it's going to be interesting, lads. Let's see how it goes. So looking at his overall stats, we obviously said that he had mediocre pace, and that is pretty evident from the sprint speed. Finishing is pretty good overall. It's actually surprisingly good. Usually his finishing is quite low in his normal card, but it's up at like 71, which is decent. Um, his long shots seem absolutely ridiculous, and he's 99 shot power. 99 shot power. His passing is also insanely good. I just want you to focus on long passing and short passing. They're both 99. 99 for each, which is insane. His dribbling is a lot better than Maddich. He's more has higher agility and higher balance than than Maddich, which is gonna come into effect. Their defending and the physical is pretty similar, but not too dissimilar. Like what there's gonna be certain edges where like Nemanja is a ha is stronger than Casemiro, but Casemiro has more aggression. So what I done is I put a shadow card on him just to increase that pace so he could get over that distance and also increase that defending so he's just an absolute tank okay so just getting into the clips lads he's a tank he's really really good um he's the perfect sort of cdm he's always there in the right position because of those mid high work rates and his shot is ridiculous his shot is an absolute rocket if you get him into the right position on that right foot shoot it from outside the box it will go into the back of the net it, it just oh he's a tank um passing as well that passing is a joke he's 99 passing in terms of short passing and long passing you're going to see in one of these clips he passes to it to william with ease just so easy it's really really nice when you uh when you get that with a cdm because you usually don't expect it and when he can do that it's a real plus um his strength also is ridiculous there's one clip you're going to see where he holds off hullet i just wanted to test them out in terms of strength to see if he could hold off hullet and he does he does it with ease now, in terms of negatives, there's no out like really bad negatives. What I would say is sometimes his pace is a little bit annoying. Now, that is probably down to him being six foot. So comparing him to Maddage, his pace sometimes is a little bit annoying, but that's down to him being six foot. And overall, it's still pretty good. And obviously that three star weak foot. But in terms of passing, you won't notice that. In terms of shooting, you will notice that. Okay, so in terms of a rating now this is gonna be this is actually very hard because like manage i thought was very good and i like this card as well they both have the weak points and they both have the strong points but casemiro i feel is the better player of the two so i'm gonna give casemiro a nine it's just because casemiro doesn't have any really outstanding negatives in terms of you know that weak foot weak foot in terms of passing is fine he's much better than manage at that um, better at passing the manage, better at shooting the manage, but manage as a centre defensive mid, it's just he, he's just more of a presence. He gets across the field a lot easier, I feel, and he wins the ball back a little bit more than Casemiro. So it's totally down to you what you want, but he's still going to get a higher rating based off his passing, based off his shooting, based off being an overall better player <clears throat> on the ball. So is he worth it? Yes, he is worth it. He costs 240k. And to be honest, he's a tank. He's really good in that midfield for just breaking up the play and getting you going forward. Like, I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much in terms of his passing. I didn't realize it till after I used him that he had that 99 passing. But you will feel that passing immediately. Like, if I want to play a long pass up to Clivert, I will get up to Clivert with ease. With Nemanja, no, it's not really like that. Sometimes it does go up, sometimes it doesn't. With Casemiro, it's all the time. Is he foot champs ready? Yes, he is foot champs ready. If he can hold off Hullet, he's four champs ready, lads. Trust me, because 95% of the teams now are going to be Hullet, R9, those sort of those sort of teams. So if he can hold off those sort of players, he's 100% four champs ready. Okay, lads, so that's going to be the end of this review. So if you're picking between Casemiro and Madic, I would pick Casemiro. But if you want defensive cover more than anything, or like over anything else in terms of on the ball, dribbling, shooting, and passing, pick Nemanja. Nemanja is still very good at that, but... 
Casemiro's just not as big of a presence in the midfield, but in terms of everything else, he's an absolute tank. Okay, lads, so that's everything. If you want me to do any other reviews, please let me know in the comments, and I will try to get as many done within reason, because I don't have a lot of coins at the moment. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.